Hello dear students. Today we are going to learn about two more terms speed and velocity and mostly speed we will be learning today. Last time we had studied about distance and displacement. Okay. So same way we are going to learn about speed first and then velocity. So let us understand speed. The speed of a body is the rate of change of distance with time. That means how much distance is traveled in how much time. That is what it is considered in speed. Like we ask uh, uh, sometimes so the driver who is driving, uh, driving our car and ask him what is the speed. He will say it is maybe 60 km per hour. What does that mean? That we are moving at a, we are covering a distance of 60 km in each hour. Okay. So that is the meaning of 60 kilometer per hour. So the speed of a body is the rate of change of distance with time. Now numerically it is the distance traveled by the body in one second. So we are actually finding out how much distance we are traveling per second. It is a scalar quantity. So when we say speed we don't mention the direction. We will just say the magnitude of speed. So that is that is why we say it is a scalar quantity. So when we are sp saying speed, you represent it by u or v. So if a body travels a distance s, so distance is written as s in time t, then speed is given by speed is equal to distance upon time. Okay. So don't confuse with the speed and this s. Distance is written as s. So speed is equal to distance by time. Or you can say distance is equal to speed into time, v into t. S is equal to v into t. Okay. So this is the formula. Then unit of speed. So when you say unit of speed, we know that it is a derived quantity. Because it depends on the unit of distance, that is unit of length and unit of time. So when we say SI unit, you have to put here meter and here second. So SI unit of speed is meter per second. And when we say CGS unit, you have to put length, a unit of length as centimeter, so centimeter per second. So we have SI system, unit of speed is meter per second and CGS system it is centimeter per second. Okay. So these are the units. Now next we come to a term called uniform speed. So uniform means same, isn't it? So how will you say a body is traveling with uniform speed? A body is said to be moving with uniform speed if it covers equal distances in equal interval of time. So we will say it is moving with the same speed. Like for example, I have given you a table here. Distances, if a body travels 5 cm in 1 second, 10 cm in 2 seconds, 15 cm in 3 seconds and 20 cm in 4 seconds, that is in every one second it is moving five centimeters, isn't it? From two to three it has moved five. From three to four again it has moved five. So it is going equal distances in equal time interval. So when an interval is one second, the distance is also equal, equal, equal. So this is what is uniform speed. So if a ball is moving on a frictionless sur plane surface, so frictionless surface on that surface means there is no no force stopping it there is no friction okay so the body the ball will move very smoothly and it will go with a uniform speed but usually when we kick a ball on a surface it does not keep on moving isn't it it stops at some place why does it stops because of the force of friction so here they are saying that if a ball is moving on a frictionless surface it will keep on moving Knowing the uniform speed of the body, we can calculate the distance moved by the body in a certain interval of time. So if we know the, uh, if we know the speed at which the body is going, you have to just multiply speed and time and we will get the distance. S is equal to V into T. Okay. So this is a very simple uh, formula. Then we come to non-uniform or variable speed. So when it is non-uniform means it is not moving equal distances. So a body is said to be moving with non-uniform speed if it covers unequal distances in equal interval of time. Okay. So the distances are unequal here. Like we say, first 10 meter in one second 10 meter. 
then in 2 seconds it is travelling 14 meter that means in this 1 second the interval of 1 second it has travelled 4 meter then from 2 to 3 seconds from 14 meter it has come to 20 meter so within this time it is travelling 6 and then 3 to 4 it is going 5 so here it was 4 from here to here it is 6 and here to here it is 5 so it is going unequal distances in equal interval of time see time interval is same one second one second one second like that so when a body travels unequal distances in equal interval of time we say its uh, speed is non-uniform or variable speed so the example of a body moving with variable speed is the motion of a ball on a rough surface or motion of a car in a crowded street so when a car is moving on a crowded street it can stop it can move fast it can go slow so it can go in any with, when, with any speed so we say that its speed is variable the motion of vehicle leaving or approaching a destination etc are with non-uniform speed in case of bodies moving with non-uniform speed we specify their instantaneous speed or and the average speed so if the speed is changing continuously then we can uh, describe its speed as instantaneous speed now what is instantaneous speed let us understand instantaneous speed so when the speed of body keeps on changing its speed at any instant is measured by finding the ratio of distance traveled in a very short interval to the time interval so instant means at that time isn't it like instant noodles instant noodles means we can make it in five minutes inst at that instant so same way if the body has a variable speed and its speed is changing very quickly so what we do we take the distance traveled in a very short interval of time maybe two seconds how much distance and then divide it by two so we will get the instantaneous speed instantaneous speed means speed at that particular time so that is what our speedometer of a vehicle shows so on the speedometer you can always see how much is the speed like this vehicle is going at 80 km per hour so it, if it goes beyond that then it will be caught on the camera of our traffic police and he will have to pay a chalan isn't it so instantaneous speed is always uh, shown by speedometer so speedometer is measuring our distance travel for small small distances and it divides it with the time so speedometer of a vehicle measures the instantaneous speed okay then we come to average speed average speed means on the whole how how much speed so for that ratio of the total distance traveled by the body to the total time of journey is taken okay so average speed is equal to total distance traveled by total time taken so this all you have done in your lower classes in seventh standard i think you have done in mathematics also to find average speed so if a body is traveling uh, with different speeds so you just have to see that what is the total distance traveled okay if it has traveled 500 kilometer then you divide it by how how much time is taken so that will be that will give you an average speed okay so average speed doesn't mean that all the time it was moving with that particular speed it is just an average value so in case of a body moving with uniform speed the instantaneous speed and average speed are equal see this is an important point if a body is moving with uniform speed then at all the time its speeds will be the same so the instantaneous speed our speedometer will be fixed on one point it will not move itself if you are going at a uniform speed okay and when you take the average speed also it will also have the same value so a question can be asked that when does the average speed instantaneous speed uh, become average speed and instantaneous speed become equal so that time you will say when the body moves with a uniform speed at that time its instantaneous speed and average speed are equal okay so that is all for today we will continue it in the next class